Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to you all. Okay, today with this video, we are going to do example 7.4 from the chapter 7, Shigli Mechanical Engineering Design book. Chapter 7 talk about shaft and shaft component design. Okay, and all the pictures I take here is from the book and also from random images from Google Images. Okay. Okay, this example is continuation from example 7.3 from the book. I do not cover uh, example 7.3 as it is too long. Okay, so uh, if you have the textbook with you, you can open uh, example 7.3 to see uh, the figures. Okay, I've already uh, taken some of the extracts of the figures uh, and put in this slide. Okay. Okay, the question is as follows. Okay, for the shaft is example 7.3, it is noted that the slope at the right of the right bearing is near the limit of the cylindrical rotor bearing. Okay, uh, determine an appropriate increase in the diameter so to bring the slope down to 0 0.05 radian. What does this question mean? Okay. okay, this is a cylinder bearing. This is a cylindrical bearing. Okay, this is a shaft. Okay, so the the bearing itself it has slope. Okay, in the in the in, in the geometry of the bearing, it it has slope like this. Okay, let's say this we magnify the slope, it's like this. Okay, okay, it's like like this. It's already have some slope. Okay. And this shaft, giving the load given on the shaft, it has, it also have the nearly the same slope. So what happened? The shaft, when it connected with the bearing, with this kind of slope, it will slip down. It may slip down, meaning that the shaft can go down. Okay, go down. This is the the question, and we want to avoid it. Okay. Okay. Using the equation uh, seven seventeen, the deflection in the right bearing give the this is the new new diameter that we want to know. Remember, they are. Remember, they are. This is the outer diameter. The peak diameter is called D. And the small diameter is called is a small d. Okay, so by meaning that when you see the word small d, small meaning that it is a inner diameter. Okay, and then the slope and the old slope, and then you put the figures uh, given in the question, and you get the value 1.216. Okay. Remember on the last slide, what is different between deflection and the slope? Okay, this is the beam given. This is this this is called deflection. Okay, and this is slope. Okay, the one. This is slope. Okay, this is different be between deflection and the slope. And now. You multiply all the diameters with the ratio is a given in the question, okay, and then you get this value, d1, d2, d3, d4, and everything, eh? okay. and then you repeating the beam deflection analysis in example 7.3 given new diameter produce a slope a right bearing of 0 0.0005 inchy, and all deflections are less than the previous value, meaning that uh, we Again, the question asks us to uh, to calculate the slope in order that the bearing and the shaft do not want to slip away. Okay. Okay, that's all for the video. For this video, uh, we will continue to the next video on critical speed for shaft. Okay, thank you very much.